We've got Seattle, the Buccaneers, taking place in that early game out there in Germany. The Bucs are favored by two and a half over under on this one, 44 and a half. What are your thoughts on this game? Uh, I like Seattle. If they're not going to win it outright, I mean, we're only talking a one-point game here. So uh, I like Seattle to cover the, the minus two and a half or the, you know, or the plus two and a half on the Seattle side, I guess. But I also like the under. Big travel over to Germany. Um, first time that the NFL has been there. It's a new stadium. The turf is going to be a bit different. Yes, they've been pre- practicing on it, but we all know games are completely different than that. Um, so it should be a competitive affair, but I'm I'm thinking this game something like 21-20. Like, I, I see it that close, and I could see it going either side. Either way, Seattle comes away on, on the spread there. Yeah, I think you're right. I, I do like the Seattle call. I do like the under call as well. I think that this is going to be an extremely close matchup. Um, yeah, and part of it too, part of the reason that I also think that Seattle is going to be able to to at least cover, if not win outright, is the fact they're six and three against the spread uh, this season. The Buccaneers are two six and one. Like they have not, they they've done a poor job covering even light spreads. Um, you know, winning games that they probably should have. Uh, all of that kind of stuff. As far as One of the props in this game goes that I really like is DK Metcalf over four and a half receptions on this one. DK has been looking pretty good throughout the uh, season and definitely putting up enough to the point where he's very consistently four, five, six catches a game kind of averages right around that five receptions a a game mark. And so I'm going to take that one. Feels like, uh, feels like I'm cheating. It it feels so easy, but uh, Kevin, what's your prop? Uh, My prop for this game. I'm taking Rashad white over 28 and a half rushing yards said just a couple minutes ago how they're going to be working him into the offense a bit more he is more explosive he brings something just a little bit different to this Tampa Bay team that they don't get with Leonard Fournette and I think he's going to be able to um, grind out some of these yardages or some of this yardage to get him most of the way and I think he'll spring one you know 10 12 yards and get a chunk play to take him over